Mechanics is that branch of science which deals with the behavior of fluids at rest as well as in motion. To start with, if I talk about properties of fluids, the basic properties are density or mass density. As the name suggests, density or mass density here, it is denoted by a symbol rho. Where rho is mass of fluid by volume of fluid. The unit is kg per meter cube. Second property is specific weight or weight density or weight density this is specific weight of weight density of fluid is the ratio of weight of the fluid to its volume it is the ratio of weight of fluid to the volume of fluid so it comes out to be mass of fluid into G by volume of fluid. So this will come out to be rho into G and unit is Newton per meter cube. Another property is specific volume. It is defined as the volume occupied by the unit mass of fluid. So it is nothing but 1 by rho. Unit is meter cube per kg. Anything which has specific term attached to it suggest that the quantity is divided by the mass topic which is viscosity viscosity is defined as the property of fluid which offers resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another adjacent layer of the fluid. So here it is a property of fluid which offers resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another layer of fluid. Now let us understand what it means. It means that let me take a case where I have a plate, two parallel plates. If I show them in 3D, it will be looking like this and there is fluid in between. If my this plate is stationary and this is being pulled by a force F. I have fluid which is sandwiched in between this. So if I do see a 2D diagram, it will be something like this. So I have a force F. Because of force F, there will be certain velocity V of the top plate. This is my top plate obviously. And this is the stationary bottom plate. Now, this is stationary. So velocity of the fluid which is near to this surface will be 0. Velocity of the fluid at this point will be V. So as I can see there will be a velocity gradient or change in velocity with Y. So this type of diagram will come into picture which is known as velocity profile. Velocity profile is the relation between velocity and Y. Velocity profile is a relation between velocity and y, where velocity is a function of 
y the velocity is in x direction so let's see with this plate if i have a small movement okay what has happened my layer has displaced by a angle delta alpha because of this force so this j alpha is known as shear strain this d alpha is known as shear strain so on the basis of experiments newton gave a law for viscosity he said that the shear stress that is force per unit area which is nothing but my shear stress tau is proportional to rate of shear strain d alpha by dt that is rate of shear strain it is important to know that it is variation with respect to rate of shear strain between du by dy that is gradient on the x axis and shear stress on the y axis so as you know newtonian fluid will follow a straight line this is my newtonian fluid my non newtonian fluid can be of two types so when n this line corresponds to n less than 1 this line corresponds to n greater than 1 that means this is dilatant and this is pseudo plastic you should know this diagram very well another kind of fluid is known as bingham plastic fluid or ideal plastic fluid so this kind of fluid is a fluid that behaves as solid it behaves as solid until a specified shear stress is exceeded and subsequently it behaves as it behaves as fluid on this figure the bingham plastic will be something like this on this figure the bingham plastic will look like this where it needs initial shear stress tau y to start flowing after that it behaves like a newtonian fluid equation of bingham plastic fluid will be this is the equation of bingham plastic fluids now let's take a problem here in this problem a square plate is coming down through an inclined plane the square plate and the inclined plane has oil which is put in between for the lubrication purpose the thickness of oil film is given as 1.5 mm the velocity is a uniform velocity that is it is not varying is 0.3 meter per second the weight of this plate is 300 newton and the area of this plate which is a square plate is 0.8 into 0.8 meter square let's try to solve this problem 